All right, welcome everyone. My name is Kurt. I am a comic book colorist. Welcome to my YouTube channel. In this video, I want to show you guys my lassoing color technique that I've been doing in uh, Club Studio Paint. And I've been streaming this week, and I've been asked just about every day how I'm doing this. So in real time, I want to show you what it looks like, and then I'll show you how to set it up. So first off, let's say I want to color the hair. I will, you know, lasso the hair. And I, I'm intentionally doing this very quickly just to kind of show you how this works. And I'm not worrying about the edges. And then I will switch to a brush and fill it in. That's the fast version. So I'm doing a lot of things pretty quickly and it's hard to see and I understand that. So I wanted to make a video to kind of explain how that works. So there's a couple of things to set up first. Uh, one, uh, my lasso is just set to new selection mode. It's anti-aliasing is off as usual. It's just a standard lasso. My magic wand is set to select from selection. That's important. It's also set to refer to the reference layer. It's actually called selection for referred layers for some reason. Basically what this means is if I set my flats, my flats layer as a reference layer, um, I have an action that does this too. Set flats to ref there. But you set the flats to the reference layer so that the wand knows to look on the flats layer, even if I'm on a different layer like this one. So if you'll watch what happens, I'm on this layer here, which right now is empty, this just hard light rendering layer. If I choose the magic wand and select her hair, you can see that it's making the selection from the flats because they're the reference layer. So no matter what layer I'm on, I can still go in and make selections from my flats layer. And the way that this select from selection works is that if I go in here and make all my selections again, and again, I'm, I'm not being really uh, neat about this here. If my wand is set to select from selection, and I click the hair, it will basically shrink that selection down to exactly where I want it. So I'm on this empty hard light layer. I make my selections. I'll go a little bit neater this time. I'm using Alt to remove. I might use Shift to add to selections on this to get it nice and, nice and neat, nice and clean. Holding Shift right now, adding a bunch of selections adding some to the top, you get the idea. So once the selection is made, I switch to the magic wand with a keyboard shortcut, click the hair to shrink the selection to just the hair, hide the selection with another keyboard shortcut so I don't have to look at it, and then paint it in. And I can keep going, I can add more highlights if I want. Again, I'm not the least bit worried about going outside the lines here, just making some quick selections, choose the wand, select the hair, change the color, paint it on. So I'm just doing that over and over for each piece. And it's these reference layers actually make it, to me, significantly faster than Photoshop. Because if I was in Photoshop, I don't have reference layers. I would have to make my selection, whatever that is, switch into the flats layer, make the selection with that, go back to my rendering layer, then fill it in. Whereas with this, because that wand is already looking at the flats, I don't have to worry about that. I can make my selection, shrink it to where I want it, and do my rendering. So that entire process happens without ever having to switch layers. If you want to learn more tricks like this, I've just released an all new Coloring with Clip Studio course. I will put the link in the description. It covers my entire process. It includes my actions. It includes the settings for all of my tools, so you don't have to set all that up. And we'll actually go through an entire exercise all together. So if you want to check that out, help support this channel, help support more free videos, be sure to check that out. Thanks for watching. See you guys in the next one.